How do you get charges to oscillate sinusoidally? How can you have charges move back and forth? An oscillating electric field, right? Where, where, uh, where can we see oscillating electric fields? I'll give you a hint. Just about everything in this room that has power associated with it. AC power, right? So if you have an alternating current, if you have an alternating current, which we haven't really talked about, but it's basically the same mechanism to get charges to uh, move in a, in a wire, for example. If you have a wire and you have an electric field in here, well, that electric field is going to cause charges to move or the, the mobile electron C in the wire to move in the other direction. But you might have an electric field that is some magnitude, again, times the sine of some function, some sine function. And so the acceleration of these charges is going to be sinusoidal as well, some amplitude times the sine of omega t, because the force is just q times e. Okay, so if you're field is oscillating sinusoidally, the force is going to oscillate sinusoidally, the acceleration is going to oscillate sinusoidally. We have an all, what's called an alternating current. Now let's come back to this thing we showed a while ago. And we said if we plug this thing in here, and I bring this, this is just a light bulb connected to two wires via alligator clips, just copper wires that are insulated. And I bring it near this device and the light bulb lights up. And if I turn it this way, it actually goes out. So are we, if I bring it over here, it actually goes out. Can we now at least qualitatively say what's going on here? Any ideas? <laughs> yes, that's a good answer. Okay, so so what possible ideas could we have? What's first of all, what's going on? What is this thing? This is an antenna. What do we have in it? We have got a metal rod here, and what's what's going on inside? We have an oscillating current, right? We have an, an alternating current, which is causing the electrons in the metal to do what? Okay, well they're going to radiate because they're doing what? Oscillating, and so the, they're accelerating, right? They're accelerating in what direction? Up and down? How is this thing oriented here? Which way are the, the charges going to move? Yeah, back and forth, right? Okay, you're having a, a current that's being applied or an electric field that's being applied, and that field is pointing in one direction, so the electrons in the bar accelerate in one direction, and then it flips, and so they accelerate in the other direction. And so you have charges that are accelerating either that way or that way, right? So, say again. Do they ever collide? Well, it's the entire like the the entire mobile electron C, right? Well, okay. So, okay. So, do we have internal collisions? Well, it's the same. What we really have is this thing is going to heat up for the same reason that a light bulb or any other thing with current passing through it heats up. The collisions are more occurring with the electrons, with the, uh, the mobile cores, right? The, the, the positively charged atoms or ionic cores that are left over in the lattice. Electron-electron uh, collision, we don't really model for that. I mean, that doesn't really fit into the model because it's treated more as almost everything's happening instantaneously, okay? Because if you, if you, if you change you got to have a change in some charge distribution somewhere that changes the electric field everywhere in the circuit. And it's one of these feedback mechanisms like we talked about when we were dealing with circuits, right, where the, it propagates throughout the entire circuit at the speed of light and the electric field changes almost instantaneously, okay? So pretty much everywhere the electric field is changing instantaneously according to some sinusoidal function. And then because the electric force is just proportional to that alternating electric field, the charges are all going to just basically oscillate back and forth the same way as the field is oscillating. Okay. But there are collisions with the lattice going on. Yeah, in some, in some models you can treat it as sort of like a fluid, 
you, you, or a gas. You, elect, electron C is treated like an electron fluid or an electron gas that's all kind of moving, oscillating together. Okay.